Now let us continue with this crusade against these worthless mutants and their enabling owners. Possibly get a little spaced out here. I do that from time to time. I have a strong admiration for humans. We're the only creatures that are able to question the origin of our existence. Where did we come from? You know, we look up, we see a blue sky, bright light, you know, the sun, clouds. And we say, what the hell is this? The only species that can marvel and question and study things like this, our surroundings, the universe itself. Right then we find out that we are actually on a giant rock that is floating midair. It's not sitting on something else. And it is spinning at a thousand miles per hour. We become fascinated. Only humans can discover this, be in awe at it, and study it. Think about it. Humans are basically a piece of the planet. The planet, of course, is a piece of the universe. Everything that we are made of is found in the earth. Water, vitamins, minerals, molecules, etc. So in a way, as others have pointed out, humans are the universe questioning the origin of its own existence. That is what we represent. The universe does not use wild animals to question its own existence, to study itself. We observe and study things like this. Animals don't study. We come up with philosophy, science, mathematics, etc. We build. Animals don't do this. We are clearly the superior beings on this planet. I think that is something that you should take pride in to live by and to never devalue your existence by putting wild animals least of all mutts on the same level as human beings dog love dog ownership as it exists today in my opinion is one of the biggest threats to human evolution this country should actually be in a state of emergency in my opinion dog ownership helps to create dysfunctional relationships between humans. Every type of relationship that you can think of. Husband and wife, child and parent, teacher, student, co-worker relationships, business relationships, etc. If social relations are impaired or not fully developed, it will extend into an impaired growth of intelligence, which extends into an impaired rate of evolution for that species. That is exactly the role that dogs play. All humans are shaped inside the womb by their mother's emotions. The emotional state of a pregnant woman dictates the configuration of her hormones. They will be configured in a way that reflects her stressful state of mind. A woman's hormones have a direct impact on the child's development, physically and mentally. This is why women who are insecure and depressed or sad while they are pregnant will have a higher chance of having a stillborn, a premature birth, babies with low birth weights, unhealthy babies. It has been proven that women who are confident, who feel comfortable, who feel beautiful throughout pregnancy, who feel loved by her family, her kids, father, throughout her pregnancy, tend to have safer births, healthier infants, more productive offspring. Several months after birth, the child will receive physical and emotional support. Later on, the father's role is phased in and teaches the child how to navigate through, through society, through this world. Teaches the child how to be responsible, right, and to be proactive, to value responsibility and productivity, to be productive. Bonds with the child in a different way from the mother as nature intended. 
opposites attract to form a complete human. Both forms of support from the mother and father helps to enhance the child's social and intellectual development. That is the foundation of human evolution. It cannot be compromised by the presence of a mutt. If you have children and you still feel the urge to be parental and emotional or affectionate, to nurture or to train or teach, it means that there is an element in your relationship with your children that is missing or underdeveloped. So rather than invest this extra energy into a mutt, invest it into your child. Attend more games. Spend more time with them. Take them out. Talk to them. Turn off the TV and have a discussion with them. Teach them something new as a father. It will enhance their social skills, their intellectual development, which is the foundation of human evolution. All the love that people have for months represents a massive emotional and intellectual waste at the expense of human evolution. The energy that people invest into mutts is only possible at the expense of that investment into humans. If you invested that en energy into your relationship with your husband, wife, children, co-workers, relatives, friends, etc., it would only evolve humans beyond our current state. All right, so when you have this urge to be affectionate, that is a natural instinct. But nature intended for you to seek the company of humans. This is by design. Starting at the point of conception, humans evolve through their interaction with other people's energy, your mother's emotions, with other people's intelligence. This is exactly what school books are. The student's interaction with intelligence and information passed down to them. Along with that, they interact with the teacher or the professor. Your intelligence is enhanced by how you relate to others. If I teach you algebra, I choose to relate to you on an information sharing level. No different from teaching a child how to tie a shoe. It is all an acquisition of knowledge which increases your brain activity in the same way that emotional support increases your brain activity. Just like your interaction with your mother's emotional state inside the womb increases your brain activity, right? It enhances the development of your entire body, right? If it has an impact on your physical development, that includes your brain and nervous system, right? All throughout life, positive interaction with humans enhances your brain activity. Humans are essentially sources of energy. Interaction with other sources of energy in a positive way acts as a sort of friction where the both of you create even more energy. That's the theory behind sex itself, friction the creation of energy. You already have energy emotionally. Sex is emotional energy combined with physical energy, friction, more energy, until the explosion of energy creates life. Then what happens? The man falls asleep. He is out of energy. All the energy that is put into the existence of a worthless mutt is energy that is denied 
to family, friends, children, spouse, other humans, which results in the underdevelopment of the human species. We are organisms designed to operate in a certain way in order to evolve. There have been several articles written about how dogs destroy people's relationship. Several subscribers have shared stories. This narrative that dog lovers promote, that they hate kids, is their way of admitting that they hate themselves. Because they themselves only a few years ago were kids as well. If you bang on about how much you hate kids, there is no way you can reflect on your own childhood in a positive way. If you hate your own beginning on this earth, there is no way you truly love yourself today. Social and intellectual evolution has to be grounded in humans focusing their energy on each other. Dogs are a force that works against our evolution. Energy invested into them will never amount to anything that will evolve human beings. It is an absolute waste of human energy. Those mutts will die without ever being able to connect with your energy. It is an absolute disservice to the human species. It is an extremely subhuman lifestyle, extremely primitive lifestyle that has to be phased out of the culture in order for humans to truly evolve. 